Hey guys, um, so I'm, you know, I've, I've been building lots of Phoenix apps and, um, uh, you know, like sometimes uh, I want to look at the database, like, you know, look at like how the data is laid out, like, you know, what, uh, yeah, I, I want to run SQL uh, directly on the database and uh, try to understand the data. Um, so uh, at my work, we actually have a really nice app, which, which um, allows all of us to um, run SQL queries on the database. So uh, I want to do the same thing uh, for my, uh, you know, uh, like side projects. So, you know, today we're going to be, you know, be building that. So let's, uh, let's get started. <clears throat> so uh, first thing is, it's going to be a Phoenix app, right? I'm, I'm going to build this as a Phoenix app and later, you know, we'll, we'll see if we can improve um, the abstractions more. Uh, but for now, let's just get started. Let's just do Mix Phoenix New. That's gonna uh, set up a new app called Binoculars. Uh, and uh, what I want this app to do is like very simple. Uh, I want just one page which shows me a text box where I can enter my SQL query. And uh, as soon as I hit enter or like you know a button, it should run that query on the database and give me the results. So, um, yeah, not not very hard from the looks of it. So let's get started. Um, and you know, just to keep this video simple, I'm gonna you know not use any fancy tools. Uh, just uh, uh, use code, Visual Studio Code, um, and let's uh, CD into binoculars and uh, open up code here. Uh, let me close this guy and uh, well, uh, okay, so we'll have that in the left pane. We have a terminal window here and uh, we'll start a Phoenix server here. So um, just going to open TMUX uh, and say mix Phoenix server. Um, server. Oh boy server right <clears throat> so once we have that uh, let's go to the browser and uh, open up our uh, uh, app and let's see what we have so we don't have anything yet because uh, it's gonna uh, so it's gonna install rebar 3 because this is the first time I'm um, so I'm, I'm doing all of this in a separate account so that you know um, it's easier to follow along um, like a separate um, OS account. So uh, it's going to install rebar, probably installed hex before, um, but now it's compiling the app. So let's give it some time. Uh, meanwhile, let's um, create a file. And actually, let's just go to the readme. And what I want to do here is I want to set up a, a to do. So I'll say to do. I want to do a few things. What are those things? Uh, first thing, uh, a user should be able to uh, run a query on the database, right? So that's what we want, database, right? Uh, so it's it's all compiled. Uh, it's giving us an error saying, you know, we don't have the database yet. That's good. Uh, let's go to the UI, uh, refresh this page. And um, it should give us a button to create the database. Um, so all good, right? So we have the Stark Phoenix scaffolded app. Um, nothing fancy here, right? So, um, all right, let's see. Um, what we want is we want this page to have a text box and a run button. So to do that, you have to go to app HTML. And uh, what I'm gonna do is um, actually I want to install a few extensions. Uh, Elixir LS support, yes, let's install that. Um, so we have that. Okay, so we've got that. Let me just uh, maximize this page. Uh, so I'm gonna remove all the Phoenix styling. Uh, so just move this inner content to its own line and let's get rid of this stuff 
um, so it looks good. And uh, let's also get rid of the CSS because um, I usually don't use the Phoenix CSS. Uh, or you know maybe maybe let's have that. You know it's it's uh, it's not a big deal. So we got that. We got a get started uh, nav in the light dashboard, and all of this other stuff is in our um, page index. So let's just go there and get rid of all of that, right? So we've got that, and um, so if you go to the route uh, router, if you what? Okay, so we want to look at the routes in our app. So config a route. No, it's not what router in our app, which is lib binoculars web. Okay, so there's our router, and uh, what we have here is uh, we have the route which takes us to the home page. That's the one. Uh, what we want is we can still use the same controller. Um, so. Uh, for now, I'm just going to go there, page controller. And um, in here, we're rendering the index view. And in the index view, so we already have that open. Uh, we want a form, right? Um, so Phoenix has a way of creating forms. Let's just Google for that. Uh, Phoenix form. We'll just... Uh, Copy that. I'm just going to control C, control V. Um, that's the form. We don't have a chain set. We're just going to use the connection object. And uh, we don't have any paths either. So, um, so we'll say um, now we'll have to think, you know, when we submit this form, right? Actually, um, for now, I'm just going to put something there. Uh, we don't have a name field or an age field. We just have a text area called um, query. And um, that's it, right? So no label and a submit button, which is, um, should read the run. Yeah, you usually run the query or execute the query, right? So we'll say execute right so let's do that that's better uh so now with that we have a button and an execute uh, uh execute button and a text area where we can enter the sql also select star from users and if i hit execute it should show me all the users but right now what it's doing is uh, we have the form and if you go back look at the code here um, it's a form with an action which goes to slash and it's making a post. Uh, it has some more stuff, but that's okay. So when we submit it, right, we don't have the, the route uh, matching a post slash. So at this point, um, let's see what we should do. We need to add a route. So we go to the router for um, the app, which is this. And what we do is we say, when uh, somebody makes a post and let's just use that and uh, for now i'm just gonna be a little sloppy and just use um uh the the page controller um we'll move move this to a better place later so we'll go to page controller uh page controller and here we want to create an action called create um so we've got an action called create which takes a sql right so in the params we expect something called a query yeah so the query has the query and we want to run this query on the database and return the response yeah uh, well you might be thinking we don't really have any tables in our database so what kind of qu queries can we run well there, there's lots of tables uh, databases usually have so we can just um, say p sql uh, what's the name binoculars uh, web uh, okay so uh, okay so p sql minus u postgres is it the right minus u 
uh, with password. So let's see what kind of config do we have. So if you look at uh, dev exs, um, it has a username with Postgres, username, password with Postgres. So I've set up the database uh, on my computer to have that uh, matching username and password. So why, okay, so we'll just say pg password uh, is Postgres and uh, uh, authentication failed for user Postgres. What the heck? Uh, so let's see, p sql minus help, uh, minus minus help. Uh, and what it says is um, it's a minus u minus capital W. So I'll say minus u Postgres and uh, minus capital W to ask for password. Uh, and it says peer authentication failed. So um, let's, let's see, mix ecto create. Okay, so it's for some reason it's able to connect this way through through the through here, but not um, okay. So maybe yeah, maybe I'm missing. Um, so uh, so uh, hmm, this okay. So it says database web uh, binoculars web doesn't exist. Uh, oh boy, is that the case all the time? No, okay. So it's binoculars dev, that's the name of the database. So I'm gonna enter that. Okay, so we, we are here. Uh, and uh, we could have just created a, uh, a table, but uh, if you look at, uh, there's already a schema migrations table. So we could just look at that. So if I say select star from schema migrations, um, it doesn't show us anything, but that's okay. I just wanna see this. Uh, oh, we could also say uh, select now. That's a query too, gives you the current date. So uh, I wanna be able to run that query. So uh, I wanna be able to say, uh, select now and uh, execute should give me that data. Um, so it says no route found. Uh, did we save the router? Uh, let's go to the router. Uh, we saved it and uh, let's resubmit. Uh, create is undefined. So if we go to page controller, yeah, it's not saved yet. Uh, what we want to do here though, is we want to run the query and um, um, render the response, yeah? So what we'll do is uh, we'll create a template called uh, templates app HTML. You know what, um, yeah. Mm. So yeah, you know, so the, the first thing we should probably do is just render some kind of template, right? So say render um, connection JSON uh, and we'll just uh, render the input query in the output. So if we do that, um, could not render. So <laughs> Phoenix render JSON. I probably forgot how to do this. So render JSON, JSON. So rendering JSON, you do this. I don't have a show JSON. So one thing I can do is, you know, instead of all of this, I could just say uh, connection. Um, we could just say send a response connection 200 or uh, okay. And um, just the response, but uh, JSON encoded, right? So uh, query is query, right? So that's good. So if we do that and if we do that, we run this. So now we have like, we're essentially rendering what we passed. So that's good. But now we actually want to run this query. Um, and since we already have access to Ecto, we could probably just use that. So if we go to Ecto run SQL or you know run raw SQL, that's better. Um, so the way you do it is 
you say adapter SQL query my repo and uh, this so I'm just gonna copy this code and uh, I'll say this is the response well yeah let's just do that so this is the this is the result uh, set uh, from running the SQL and uh, the SQL we have is the query and we don't have any parameters so I'm just gonna pass in empty the name of our repository is binoculars repo right so we get the result set and we're gonna pass the result set uh, result set to the JSON um, uh, result set to the JSON so I'll say result set okay so we got that and uh, if we run this again uh, it says JSON encoder not implemented for Postgres result um, so Postgres so this is this is what we get when we run a query and again this is something which I try uh, you know which I like to do on um, in, in IEX, so what I do is um, just say, open a new terminal, uh, say IEX minus S mix, and uh, here, uh, if we run ecto adapters uh, SQL query, uh, binocular, binoculars repo, and uh, select now, There's a, there's, okay, so there's an extra dot there. There. So that's the, that's the result set. So if we say, uh, okay, the result is that. Um, we can look at the columns like that. We can look at the rows like that. Uh, and we also have number of rows. So we could look at all those things. Now, what we want to do is we want to take this data and render a table because, you know, most queries give you a table um, and, um, you know, this is kind of tabular data. So we just render it like that. So uh, let's, uh, instead of doing a send response now, let's do a render connection. Um, and uh, what we'll do here is uh, we'll say, Query as query and um, results set is result set. Yeah, so we're sending this data to the to the view, right? And uh, to to the template. So uh, what we want to do here is we want to create a template. Um, what should we call it? We'll say results.html. Results.html and uh, res oh boy. Um, we'll create a new file called results.html.ex. And in here we have access to the result set. And uh, we just saw what the result set has here, over here, right? So uh, what we want to do is we want to render a table, right? with um, a header um, and uh, a row. Oh boy, I don't know how to use Emmet here. So, uh, so yeah, let's just create these tabs manually. Table, okay, that's not what I wanted. Table, uh, table header. Uh, what we want to do here is we want to say uh, what well, we want to loop over the columns, right? So essentially just render the columns and thankfully result has um, columns. So we'll just take um, for cn uh, result set dot columns. Um, we take each result. Let's say do and we take each column and render a th. Oh, so this is uh, this is actually a t row. So, yeah, man, it's been a long time since I've um, 
written HTML. So uh, th uh, less than percentile equal to C and uh, close to th. So that's the header. And we have we want a similar um, thing for rows. So result set rows because uh, that's what it's called. And here we have a row. And uh, inside the rows, well, actually, it's going to go outside. So tr is going to come in because we're going to loop through each row. And uh, we're also going to, you know, once we loop through each row, we're going to have um, a list of uh, the cells. So we'll just say for C in our, uh, oh boy. C and yeah, <laughs> I need to use my like the tools that I know because this is hard. Okay, so we don't want this to be the header. We want this to be the data call, data element and that should do it. So if we go back to the browser and uh, read on this, uh, what does it say? Comprehensions must start with a generator. Oh, so I think this is my Python showing through. Or is, is it called in in Python? I don't know. Um, so what the heck? Uh, for com for comprehensions must start with a generator. For okay, uh, let me yeah. So for um uh, for x in uh one to ten to x that works so why doesn't it work here uh oh so this is the one with the problem okay okay so yeah we didn't fix it for this other one so let's uh let's fix that and uh, here it says key columns not found in postgres columns so it's called columns, not calls. Columns. And uh, we do this, we say select now and uh, execute undefined column now does not exist. Okay, so there's an error. Uh, we should probably render the errors properly. But if we fix it, uh, there's nothing here because um, we're not outputting it properly. Okay, there we go. So we've got the the tabular data. We don't have any data in here. So um, the the <laughs> the neat thing about this, and actually something that you might not want, is. Um, uh, we should be able to create tables too through this. So if I say create table users uh, ID primary key or um, yeah ID serial name var car email var car um, or yeah it should pro it should be a site text but you know let's just do this and hit execute it says uh, enumerable not implemented for nil. So, what's going on here? Uh, it says the error is at the results. So the result set, what's the value of the result set here? The value of the result set is we have a query and uh, query at uh, result set dot columns. Uh, and that it says is nil. So um, if the query is a DDL, it probably doesn't give us anything in the columns. Mm, yeah, we, we can try that out, but it should have created the database table. So let's just uh, take a quick look. So if you go to the database and look at users, it's there, we have the table. And if I insert a few records from here, insert into users, ID, name, email, 
um, values one a a at a dot com right and uh, I say two actually we probably didn't have to set the IDs but we ended we you know we we created the data and now if you say uh, select star from users it should give us a table with all the data so awesome this is what this is what we wanted uh, however there's one thing we don't want um, usually if you're creating um, if, if you're uh, creating some kind of uh, a utility to analyze data you want you don't want the ability to create data or destroy data accidentally so uh, for that we should make our uh, user a read-only user so um, well, we, you know what? Yeah, we, we could, you know, we should pick that up in the next session and continue it from there. Um, till then, have a good day. Bye.